Yo, what's up with the charts? JD, I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I kind of had a, it was unexpected, just kind of like a pure moment at the park. But this is kind of the thing that happens from time to time, or actually on a regular basis when it comes down to training outdoors, when it comes down to traveling, and when it comes down to just having a movement practice in general. So today I was, you know, at the park right by my house out here in Taipei, and I was just getting in a couple handstand sets, nothing too crazy. Um, working on some weighted 90 degree handstands, working on some weighted handstand push-ups, just doing some little sets before I go to the gym because I'm about to head to the gym right now. But what ended up happening is, is that out here in Taiwan, and I'm pretty sure, you know, other parts of Asia is similar, that, you know, a lot of elderly people, a lot of older people go to the park to, you know, stretch or maybe get a couple sets in or you know maybe practice like tai chi different types of movements like that and i was at the park today and uh an older gentleman had came up actually there's a couple of them and they came up to me and you know they were speaking to me in chinese i really didn't even know what they were talking about to be honest with you i just felt that it was positive and i actually ended up sending a video clip to my girlfriend and she was just like oh yeah they were just telling you good job and yada 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 but it was just funny because I sent the video clip to her because I thought it was just something that was just nice. You know what I mean? A nice interaction I have. But movement is so positive and so powerful that it can bring people together from different parts of the globe. It can usurp language barriers. You know, you can overcome a lot of things. And I was actually saying that, you know, it would have been nice if she would have been down here to translate Mandarin for me so I could actually have a conversation with these gentlemen. But at the end of the day, I was actually thinking about, I was like, I think one of the things that made the whole interaction so special is the fact that we were communicating through movement opposed to communicating through language. And it was just a pretty fun little experience. And one of the older guys that was down there, he basically was just like, oh, can I use, you know, he didn't say that, but he was basically asking, if, if pointing to my parallels, asking, can he get, a, get jump on the parallels and get a set in too? So he ended up get jumping in, doing a few sets of push-ups, and he was doing some Tai Chi, ended up wanting to do some Tai Chi, or I don't even know if it was Tai Chi, to be completely honest. It was some type of Tai Chi, Qi Gong type thing that he was doing, and he was he wanted to do it on the camera, so I was like, fuck it, get on the camera, do it. And shit, I started to join in with him. And you, I'm probably playing a video right now of me joining in with him and doing some of the movements with him. And it's fun because when you are just meeting complete strangers, completely different cultures, completely different parts of the world that you, that you don't come from, you can end up sharing your movement practices with people, you know, and then they can end up sharing their movement practices with you. It's kind of like a cultural exchange, except it's a movement exchange. I don't know if this was Tai Chi or whatever he was doing, but basically he was teaching me some moves and then I was teaching him some calisthenics moves or not even really teaching him, just sharing some calisthenics moves. I was doing my workout and you know, I think I was showing him like some pistol squats and doing some handstand pushups and different things like that. And then he was showing me his stuff. So I, I might call this video like calisthenics and Tai Chi combined or some shit like that. But anyways, it was just a, a, a good moment and it was something that I kind of wanted to share with you guys because, you know, I've actually had this question posed to me in the past. It's like, how do you make friends? How do you make the right type of friends? How do you, you know, meet people? How do you get out there and, and mingle? How do you communicate with people in other parts of the world? And this pretty much answers all those questions in one simple, probably 10 minute video just showing my interaction between somebody who's in a completely different age demographic than me, completely different culture, speaks a completely different language, you know, probably has never had too many interactions with black people in general, and probably hasn't had too many interactions, interactions with Americans as well. And, uh, you know, there's not really that many black people out here in Taipei, Taiwan, I'll tell you that much. I do see uh, quite a quite a few uh, white Americans and white Europeans and just white people from all over like white foreigners but I definitely don't see too many black people and definitely not too many black Americans so the chances of him having a lot of interactions with black Americans or black people in general is very slim and one thing I notice about a lot of the older people out here in Taiwan and Taipei is that they're just in general anywhere really once they see that you're 
basically a practitioner of a certain type of movement or they see that you you know are serious in a certain type of practice that gains a lot of respect from people no matter what part of the world you're in it doesn't matter if you're in america it doesn't matter if you're in uh taiwan it doesn't matter if you're in south america whatever it may be when people see that you're serious about something and that you have a passion for something it's commendable so that brings me back to the seven days per week mindset and it doesn't necessarily have to be with movements it doesn't necessarily i you know i highly recommend that you you know practice some form of movement seven days per week but it doesn't have to necessarily be your passion point with movement or movement doesn't necessarily need to be your passion point but whatever your passion is whatever your mission is in life we should be working on it seven days per week and uh you know that's really the only mindset to have when it comes down to trying to achieve mastery in some field or some you know aspect of our lives and i think that that's pretty much the only way that we're going to have true fulfillment is where, when we're on mission so hard that we're trying to achieve mastery. And that's what I try to do with calisthenics and, you know, other movement forms and also just kind of having understandings of different things that I have passions for in life, whether it be travel, language, uh, culture, whatever it may be. You know what I mean? Creating content, connecting with people, building communities. You know, these are things that I, you know, aspire to try to, you know, do something to kind of put a drop in the bucket every single day, so to speak, or, you know, as me and my boy James like to say, lay a brick down every single day in, you know, whatever field that you're trying to master or whatever your mission is. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a great day out there. Uh, if you guys like this type of content and you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are already subscribed to the channel, and you like the video go ahead and leave me a like uh, if you guys feel like supporting the channel donate to the channel uh, i'll leave my cash app my venmo and my paypal all in the description box below also if you're looking for online coaching i also offer a online coaching service you guys can go to my website or you guys can email me or you guys can hit me up on a DM on IG or whatever it may be. I also have programs, calisthenics programs, handstand programs, um, custom programs if you're interested in that as well. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.